Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Sim Airport. Um, so in between episodes, I think I've completed the construction over here and I've added gates A1 and A2. Nothing's been scheduled here yet, but the setup that I'm trying to check here, I've actually included some secure exits over here um, in the hope that that doesn't cause all kinds of nonsense. I just want to try and get a one-way system in here. And I remember that in one of the previous kind of series, I did make use of secure exits instead of doors. So we'll check these two. So let's quickly go into, um, ooh, can we? Yeah, I believe we can accommodate the real big ones at the moment. So this is our first extra large gate, can be owned by an airline. So let's quickly go over here and let's see if we can schedule something in A2 that will, um, well, obviously in the next day, that will give us um, a really big one. Uh, let's quickly see XLs. Yes, we do have them. Um, who do we have? Rexicana. Okay, let's grab Rexicana at 787. So let's grab ourselves a 787 over here and we will bring it in on gate A2 and I'm going to go and give us a fair bit of room there to get this guy sorted through security and all of those kind of things. How long do we have on this now? It's a three hour layover duration over now. Let's, um, let's extend it to three hours and 30. So let's do that. Um, I'm then tempted to do another one. Oh, Rexaconada only has the big ones in the AM. Um, shall we get one of the other ones? Do we have a scheduled flight for anything else? No, we don't. So Smart Lux A350. Wow. These are brand new guys. So let's get ourselves the A350 over here from Smart Lux. They will come in and I think I'm tempted to bring that in first thing. Um, and again, we're going to go with three hours and 30 minutes over there. Nice. That's pretty good. Okay. Gate A1 on the other hand, we would like a large flight. Where do we have? We can't actually see if we've got anything else. Anyway, spark jet. What's Sparkjet going to give us? A 767 on the large one. Okay, it's a pretty big one. So these are going to be big ones. So Sparkjet, um, and I'm tempted to bring that in also at like three hours like so. And we'll see how that works. If I squeeze it in a little bit like this, uh, I'd rather... Yeah, we've got so many different varieties of flights and things that it's not too awesome. Okay, let's squeeze it in over there. So for the next day, what we'll do is we'll get those flights through here and we'll quickly check, uh, do a bit of an experiment around, around what's working over here and what's not. I like the idea of having this in the middle. So what, what do we have over here at the moment? Over here, we've got... Uh, exit channel at the bottom. So if you go up here, we see with each gate has its own exit channel. It's got a lot of queuing. What it doesn't have is probably enough benches for people to sit on. So let us um, see about at least getting a little bit more benches going on over there. Um, obviously, we're going to have some more flights and things going on over there. So I'm wondering whether we, anyway, we'll just get a few extra seats over here. Maybe we actually, what we could do is we could um, extend that bench out a little bit over there. So we'll do maybe a little something like that. So there's a little bit more room there for, for some seating. But yeah, these are pretty big, pretty big flights. Um, I also don't have any vending machines or anything over here. So maybe what we'll do is we'll just grab ourselves a bit of a, a food vending machine and a drink vending machine out here in the corner. We need to grab ourselves a little bit of a garbage bin. Uh, garbage bin. So let's uh, try and squeeze in a few. I have a few over here. So anyway, that should be okay. Uh, maybe we'll just kind of slot in a couple in a few locations like that also. Not sure we 
do it anywhere else, but there we go. That should do the trick over there. Okay, so tomorrow we'll start seeing passengers make their way over here. So what I've done, I've got this exit channel coming over here um, with a lot of exiting capacity down into this channel underneath. And then this joins this area and it's not a, it's not, it's not ideal in the sense that all of these passengers are currently mixing in this area and um, getting them through here is probably a little slower than we probably would want. This area we want to redo at some point in the future, but for the moment it is going to be okay. What I want to do as well is let's try and uh, kind of make it a little nicer over here. And uh, as we did in the other in the other series, we put in a little bit of windows instead. So let's run windows along this stretch over here instead of just plain wall. So all of that can become windows. Um, I do want us to allow a little bit of window over here and probably not that I think we're going to reuse that section. Then if we go upstairs here, let's put some windows in over there. Um, we're definitely going to kind of put in some windows in here instead. Uh, let's do that. We'll put some windows over there and we'll put some windows over there also. And oh, let's just put some windows over there too. There you go. So there's some windows in our new terminal coming, um, starting to starting to happen. Uh, potentially we could have windows on this side too. If we have windows over here, people can can have a look at the um, at the uh, the runway, which would be a pretty decent a pretty decent spot for these guys. Okay, good stuff. We're getting towards the end of the day. We're all making brilliant amount of money. Um, so really, construction wise, we should be really good to continue and do whatever it is we want to do like the windows over there so these guys can kind of see one another um, i do think we need to resolve this section a little bit more probably need a fair bit more um, security through here so i'm tempted to, to kind of um, ex expand here a little these guys are kind of waiting a little bit through there so anyway I'm tempted to throw in a few more and um, we've got at least room for a couple so let's quickly do that before we hit the uh, before we hit the end of the day let's just let's just slow things down a little bit while we do it bag scanner um, and I'm thinking about the remote one please so how far was that that is exactly uh, about there thank you and then that is exactly about there and then that is not going to work at the moment so we'll get those two in there we'll get metal detectors please something like that and something like that and we'll get our id check stands id check stands one will be here and one will be there nice So we've ex Ooh, what I'm going to do is as soon as all of this is built, I'll start assigning them. Okay, excellent. So let's see, assign to this metal detector and that ID check stand and to the remote security over here. Then this one we're going to assign to the metal detector, the ID check stand and to the remote security scanner. So hopefully we, oh, and the one thing I forgot to do is let's uh, quickly remember to, no, not the security guard. There we go. Uh, assign this guy over there. And let's um, assign, come on, assign this one over there. Perfect. So hopefully we can, uh, we can move through there a little quicker now. Excellent. So that's the end of the day. Let's pause it. Let's have a quick look what happened. Um, Okay, so we're going to get these big flights coming in today. Um, let's quickly see our flight status for the day of yesterday. Did we get, ooh, there's one there. There's one there that didn't quite work out for us. And here's one that had, well, that wasn't that much of a delay. I wonder why it's saying it's a red instead of a amber. But really, most flights tend to work. Now we'll see what happens if we go into the next day. Let's quickly see what our profit and loss statement for yesterday looked like. Uh, made a good amount of money, almost a million after tax and all these kind of things. We didn't get any kind of 
perfect ops bonuses or something like that. So I don't know how we're gonna. I don't, I, honestly, I don't know how we're gonna get to get to that point in time. What we could do is we could uh, look at running some uh, flooring. So let's go over here. Let's get some floors. Do we have any nice floors that we can use over here? Can I just do the standard stone floors? Let's just do some standard stone floors in there. Um, up to there and through there. So at least this area will have nice stone flooring. Um, on this side, we need to do some lounges and stuff on this side is the kind of the plan I'm thinking. Stores and lounges and all these kind of things. Um, and then up here, let's put some flooring in there. So let's get some some floors that look like they could be bathroom tiles. So let's go with these. And we're just gonna run them through there. Thank you. And shall we get ourselves maybe some of these uh, um, 9A floors over here? Um, something like that. So at least get this area a little, a little cleaner. Nice. And let's uh, expand it a little over there. Perfect. Oops, wrong button. Okay, so the guys can go ahead and kind of work their magic on getting that piece of flooring done. This side we have flooring. They're just not, yeah, we have flooring on this side. What we don't have um, up here though is, um, is any kind of stores or lounges or anything like that. We don't have any more fuel, but this fuel price is getting a little ridiculous. So let's quickly buy um, just a little bit of fuel. Let's buy some fuel so that we can see at least get our airlines to get a bit of that going on. We do need to get into lounges as well. I just want to see how these um, how these flights are going to operate. And the other thing I wanted to see is how our security is going to is going to deal with um, a bigger amount of people. Also, I was thinking that maybe we need some more check in desks or ticketing desks as they're called in this game. Right. Ticketing desks, yes. I'm not sure yet. So we have a lot of fuel over here now. Not, a, not well, not a lot. Hopefully, we can fuel a few more, a few more vehicles. Um, ooh, hang on, hang on. I uh, made a bit of a blunder now. So these guys will not be able to do, um, to do this. Okay, that's a little bit of a annoyance. Okay, let's quickly find where we're going to place some stuff. So give me some hangers. Hangers. I'm tempted to get a large hanger on this side. I think, I think that is fairly appropriate. So let's get ourselves a large hanger over here for um, all kinds of airline traffic thingies. And then under utilities, we need to get um, one of these baggage depots. And just the one, I think, over here is going to be fine. Oops. Um, should we place it somewhere like... Why is that an issue? Oh, it needs to be up alongside it like that. Is it over here? At least over here, it'll be... Yeah, let's do that. Let's place it over there. Okay. Then we'll go underneath and we'll make sure we get ourselves a little bit of foundation. So we're going to have a little bit of a tough time. So let's do a little something like, like that. Okay. And then we're going to try and tie this. I oh, work and tie it directly in here. And like so. So uh, let's get build it. Let's get cracking on getting that built, please, because that is going to be a requirement for us pretty soon on this. Uh, yeah, that's a bit of a bummer that we um, that I missed out on that and started getting into the um, stuff straight away. Yes, some flights coming in. I think our first big boy is a, is going to land soon. Real big boy. Not yet. Um, the 787 will be first and then we'll have the A350 a little later. What are these kind of 707s? Is that what we've got com coming in here at the moment? 
but I am pretty keen on seeing that first um, 787 coming in and let's if we pause and have a quick look at where we are for the day it's uh, it'll arrive at around 7 a.m. I would imagine so it can happen any minute now there it is there it is guys that is the 787 coming to gate A2 um, it is our first really big plane over here nice oh it got off over here so really it doesn't even need a lot a lot of room okay let's quickly have a look and see what's going on over here uh, oops go up here and say so as people are leaving they are in fact going down there straight away and making their way out to, to into that direction to get out let's go up here and quickly have a look at what our queue looks like why is that a kind of a red reddish color over there is that queue not working oh no what's going on what's going on I feel there's some kind of problem here it is a sign there um, it's a sign there um, it's a sign there so why why is this not working come on come on come on how can we uh, what a what a disaster I don't know why these things and why is this thing oh, not seen as it's not seen as as info it's seen as that one yeah uh, environmental overlay yes that should be pretty poor is there not a queue overlay or something like that not secure indoor secured um, packs decisions why is this an issue honestly Pax flows. So what are what are we looking at over here? So the green circles is departure packs. The red squares are arrival packs. The cyan hexagons, which I don't see any of, is connecting flight passengers. Ooh, I'll have a look at that. Magenta star is flight crew, which I don't see any of either. And the yellow triangle is airport staff. Okay, that's fine. If we come over here, do we have any connecting passengers? uh i can't spot any oh there's some connecting passengers nice okay cool i like it i like it um staff schedules overlay i'm not even going to look at that right now what i'm worried about is why this queue over here is now seemingly not functioning and can i click on it in any in any way assign to ah this is the issue thank you don't know why that happened but hopefully we'll be able to um, get that to function yes absolutely Whew. we should be able to get everybody through security in a pretty decent amount of time uh, we should have a ooh, our other big plane will come a bit later there's a lot of construction going on over here can I um, let's quickly try and prioritize these projects a little bit more so that's a high priority um, and that's a high priority thank you so much and then we'll go down here and we'll make this high priority and we'll make that high priority as well and um, that's already high priority okay perfect um, okay let's quickly have a look at what's going on over here do we have our passengers arriving to start queuing oh they're, they're already boarding Woo -hoo. okay now they're already kind of boarded but there is um, there's well, that's a stream of passengers that oh they have arrived over here and then went the other direction okay so spark jet over here with the 767 and these guys kind of streamed out of there and over there so let me quickly dismantle that door i want to put the secure exits in there so that they kind of act as the what oh it's just people that's actually now boarding Can we try and get everybody here in time not even close they are struggling tremendously and that's with a three and a half hour window can we please get this guy to force his departure i don't want us to miss the other one force departure please force immediate departure yes thank you so much sorry you missed your flight okay there that goes that's the big boy going out 94 percent here comes the oh that's the a350 Woo! look at that one um okay so let's see he's arriving over here people are streaming out how many 
How many is streaming out? Um, baggage unloan, deep plane and clean. Uh, we don't know. Why don't we know how many passengers were disembarked here? Boarding is 188 that needs to be boarded here. So people are already queuing. Some people are arriving. Why? 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 Why is my flight crew in um, in this lane? They shouldn't actually have a lane then. All right. Okay. So let's see. Oh, they're just going to walk their way through straight through there. Okay. Perfect. Uh, boarding has commenced. Still two hours of boarding left. We're hoping they make it. But man, oh man, these people are still. Luckily, it can actually operate without being, without worrying too much about um, about the baggage. It can actually still operate, but obviously quite slow. An hour left, and there's still plenty of passengers that needs to be boarded. Let's quickly have a look and see what. We, oh, as part of that is definitely this. This is definitely definitely part of the issue. Um, the fact that we don't have our baggage um, facilities up and running. So what is happening over here? So people are checking and then and then they're struggling. You missed your flight. Why 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 is this um, why is this getting getting weird over here? Um Oh, I see it's getting weird all over the show. So they, there's something funny. So it lets them through the ID check stand and then they're just kind of queuing to get through the rest. So it's clear from what we can see here that we definitely need to expand that security operation. And I'm kind of tempted to just do it the entire thing. Um, this guy has left way, way late. Okay. That is like two hours late over there. And we're still getting all kinds of stuff built. Okay. And this section here, I have not set the priority too high. So please come and fix that for me. I honestly, I need us to get, get the pieces done a little quicker over here. So let's, uh, let's do that. Oops. Let's get rid of those. Let's get ourselves a bit of a, a baggage hub kind of somewhere. Uh, probably there is probably a good idea. Um, this can also be kind of a high priority for me. Is that, uh, that will also be a high priority. Yeah, that's the problem with flooring. If you're busy doing flooring, you kind of just, there's so many things that you kind of just miss out on. Um, I'll dismantle this guy over here as well. And we'll make that a high priority also. Okay, now... Let's start by putting in our our two-way conveyor over here. Uh, all the way to the top here, please. Wow. Okay, all the way to the top there. Thank you so much. This can be a high priority for us also. And then um, we'll go and dismantle these guys there and there. All of these will be high priorities. It's a challenge to deal with all of that. Now, uh, get us, pause it again, get some utilities, get us the conveyor system. So you goes there and you please become a producer and then and we get some, some conveyor to go like that and like that. Perfect. And now we need some more two way in here and there. And this is like high priority also. And that is, and this is, and that is, my goodness. And that one over there, and this one over here. My, there's so much, so much. Okay, let's continue that. Hopefully they'll get all of that done um, over here. Um, okay, so let's get, come on. Let's make that a hub to hub and we'll get our two way to go in here. Utilities, two way conveyor, right like that. And there we go. And this can be a high priority also. Nice. There we go. So let's get all of that built. I want that to kind of sort us out. Let's get a few vehicles, assign some vehicles. Only five. Huh? 
Well, we definitely want to go and get ourselves um, a couple of baggage cars and maybe a fuel truck. Okay, so for now, that's what we're going to have. Only five vehicles in that massive hangar. You can park a plane in there. Okay, so we had some massive delays. How are we going on the flooring? Oh, the flooring is finally sorted out so we can go back to standard normal. Oh, they're waiting for the stuff to arrive. So let's um, go for utilities. We'll get our two-way conveyor and we'll meet it up over there and we'll meet it up over there. Can we just uh, make sure that that happens? Excellent. So now at least we should be able to get it done. The one thing I kind of are wondering is should we assign it to... Is there, is there like a, a bag? Ah, yeah, assign it over here and assign that one over there. Perfect. Okay, I think that's all of it. I don't think we actually have to assign it to a carousel. Uh, maybe maybe let's uh, let's quickly check it. If I go assign again, we can assign it to a ticketing area, but not to a carousel. So that's fine. Let's just continue going with that. So today's flights that's coming in here again, the big boys will uh, will at least have have these uh, these running for them. I believe it should all be done by the time our flights come in, I believe so. Oh, the other thing that I quickly want us to go and do is expand this substantially. So let's go ahead, grab ourselves the dismantle order here and we'll dismantle that entire section and then give me some baggage hubs, baggage, um, the remote bag scanners and we're just gonna go nuts with these things. We're just going to fill up this entire thing. Um, I'm hoping that moves them through quick enough. And that is about it uh, that we can deal with over there. Uh, the next piece is then metal detectors. There and there and there and there. Uh, Just cancel that one for me. Thank you. Get some more metal detectors. There we go. There we go. Like so and like so. Then we need some ID check stands. Okay, now ID check stands. Where did they go? Oh, they go like that, like that, like that. Perfect, ID check stands are coming in. Okay, now, um, with all of these in mind, let's quickly see how many of them can we, can we still assign down here. Okay, okay. Can we do all of them? At some point it has to kind of run out of capacity, doesn't it? Okay, and that one over there, we'll assign it. Come on. This one, we'll assign it. Now it's becoming a little bit more tedious. Hopefully, um, and just the last one over here. And all of them assigned. Okay, perfect, so now let's close Let's close that so that we can wait for our metal detectors to come in. Uh, at the same time, let's quickly do a queue uh, while, we're, while we're waiting for this. Um, I'm tempted that a queue should kind of be kind of somewhere over here, okay? No, there we go. And all the way, no, no, geez. Uh, all the way, something like that. Okay, and now what we can start to do is we can start to assign this to here. And this is all just again going to be coach. All 
all of this all of this is going to be coach okay perfect now now let's uh let's make sure to assign these into queues like so and into queues like that and like this and like that and like that and like that okay excellent so we're seeing a little bit more okay get the rest of this built okay more of these to be assigned so we'll assign it over there come on excellent now these are assigned okay so let's quickly get rid of all of that let's see which of these Ooh. you need to be assigned over there over here and 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 over there there and there there and there okay and that's done okay so now we've got it going just in time as the passengers start arriving so now we've got tons more security to get people through here ticketing might become a problem and we will have to have a look at that um, did we finish off this piece over here yes so bags can make their way to the right spot so let us quickly we need to finish off this episode let's quickly see how it goes today with the big big flights as they come in hopefully our security is going to be able to manage this um, our business class queue is not very long so and there's probably only like how many that is looking after business class let's quickly have a look um, and it's okay so let's let's remove that one we're definitely not going to assign it there and what we'll do is we'll assign this one over here also so at least we kind of want two queues to accommodate business class a little bit because business class will or first class will have a little bit more action going for it lots of people hanging out over here I want to see if we can do better today with these big flights um, and oh, there it is that's our 787 arriving so let's quickly have a look at what's going on here nice Ooh, I like this floor it's looking pretty good actually can you guys please leave is this hanging around over here is a little bit of a a little bit of a bummer how many are we still needing to board so there's still plenty that needs to board um, baggage I believe is already been loaded or at least some of it is and we still have a little bit of time to wait for the guys to arrive they are arriving in drips and drabs but um, at least it's moving a little bit so in two hours this flight has to go and I'm hoping we can get it get it fully boarded prior to um, its scheduled departure time um, it's waiting on a refuel though so the issue with that I believe is that we don't have fuel ah but the fuel price is a way low so let's go and buy as much fuel as we can at that current rate uh, Ooh, I forgot to fix this piece over here so let's get me my exit channels um, these will be like that and we need some flooring to go in there at some point as well but anyway hopefully that means that now they won't be messing around over here there's boarding started this this way of doing it is kind of managing that one way is, is kind of a, a good thing how many do we still need we are still missing like 20 25 and there's 10 minutes left on this they are arriving but uh, late late still the last few come on few more few more yeah so unfortunately we're not we're not getting this out of the way everybody's in there but the plane is late oh and there's the 350 arriving and um, it arrived early because there was a little bit of gap in between these guys are going out there there's still so few people here oh 269 this guy is going to be in deep trouble to try and get that out Let's quickly go over to security and just have a, have a look at how security is performing with this. I think security is coping, but if that thing goes to full, I'm not sure it'll work that way. Anyway, 
it is decent how many passengers are coming making their way through here uh, coming up there and then that way so that it is at least working we're trying to get them there quickly we could probably do some moving walkways in here as well um, along with probably I think remote um, stands and things like that as well as some lounges this is something that we will need fairly urgently this one on the other hand has been able to board more than 200 with still like almost an hour to go so again we're gonna miss it it's gonna be delayed due to the fact that we're not gonna we're still missing 25 passengers um, but um, it's managed to load so much more now. So why would this one be able to load so much more than the other one? I don't quite get it. I don't quite get it, but we're getting everybody out in time now. Well, it's a late departure, but anyway, there it goes. And there goes the A350. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in the next episode while we continue to expand this new satellite over here. We'll bring in some amenities as I think that's one of the the next the very next things that we need um lounges and stores and 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 cafes and things like that and potentially start laying up some remote stands over here um that's something that we're gonna have to look into i, I don't think our runway has got any problems it's managing to operate fairly well um well let's buy some more fuel um max order Can we just buy how much how much i just want some more fuel just buy as much as we can we need to fill this thing up at these rates we need to fill up and because we'll make tons of money with that okay guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one uh hit that like button if you've enjoyed this tell me what you think of the new satellite over here how do you, how do you manage to get these guys to get to the plane on time is it the pa system is it more information signage um, which I also kind of understand we don't have over here and probably we need some information signage all the way along down the bottom over here as well. So we'll start to get some of the more of those amenities in place as we continue along. Okay, thank you so much again. Bye-bye.